have two parcels for you, Mr. Cruzeta, yes? Oh, yes. I have arcade block and uh, this one, I don't know. Oh, thank you, creepy posty. I'm not creepy. <laughs> Alright everyone, this is Kev the Retro Game Crusader and this is an unboxing of something very very special. I've saved two months for this, I had to sell another 3DS, the, the Fire Emblem one, which I wasn't too much attached to, but this is very special for me. And this is a kick-ass unboxing. First of all, charger. I know everyone was mourning about Nintendo not giving these, but it's, it looks better that it's not in the official box. The Skull Kid box. And this is the, the new 3DS XL Majora's Mask Edition. Very gorgeous looking box, very modern looking at the same time. I know it's completely different from the American one. It's got similar designs to the, the other special edition I got a couple of weeks ago. Gotta say the box looks stunning. But now we're gonna go have a look at the console itself. Right now let's start unboxing this bad boy. manual stuff oh, yeah. now the final bit that looks stunning looks way better than it does on camera like very happy with this design and in the UK it costs £209 with all the extras oh, that looks cool looks way different than the other one looks really nice Nice little stand. Right, let's get this bit nice and open. And it's the skull kid. Take some nice DL photos of this soon. Let's put them next next to Peter Dinklage. It's tiny, it's tiny compared to the Peter Dinklage amiibo. And yes, he is named Dinklage in Smash Bros, which is pretty funny. Gotta say, I'm very happy with all this. Nice feel. Nice plastic. Nice and bright. Right, I've had this 3DS XL for, I say, near a week now. 
I'm really impressed with the differences compared to the older version. I still haven't used the brand new buttons, but I'll be using them tomorrow when the new Xenoblade comes. Uh, apart from that, the design still looks stunning. I've played a few different games in that time, like some older games, like the Majora's Mask that looks stunning compared to even the last one and I've been fooling around with the 3D camera a bit more and it's definitely got improved compared to the last time. But I'd say this is definitely worth a buy if you're going to buy the smaller versions with the changeable plates or if you can get a hold of this type of one. There's no point getting a plain one. But I'm very impressed with the updates and I'd say this was definitely worth the money for me. This has been Kev the Retro Game Crusader and thank you for watching.